started really as Venture Garden Group eight years ago, and our entire premise is data to cash. And then we were able to raise $20 million in 2015, and we said, let's find other brilliant entrepreneurs and help them be able to raise funds. So we had one first accelerator, and we've had the great companies like Sheramid and Ribby and ESL, and then we now looked at our statistics and said, only one company in our portfolio has a woman co-founder, but yet the data says that women produce 30% higher return on investment. And so we now looked and said, is it just us that only has one company? Let's look at other VCs. And we saw that globally, only 2.2% of VCs had uh, invested in women-led companies. And for black women, they only received 0.2% of VC funding. And that number is just not acceptable if you're thinking about the fact that they do a lot more with less. So we decided that the next round of founders that we're going to invest in, we're going to be from women-led companies. And we're going to know, change the statistic and this view of what a woman in tech looks like. Demo Chella for us was kind of, you know, we decided not to just say regular demo day. And so we took Coachella, inspired by Beachella um, with Beyonce, and we said this is really our coming out to the world. This is really showing Nigeria amazing women tech entrepreneurs. And you know, the key line in this that kept repeating to us why we chose Demo Chella was, I can't believe we made it. Let's show, see how this crowd goes crazy for these women-led led teams and these women entrepreneurs. So we decided to make it, bring in our modern, fun side to match it with the tech side for, you know, Demo Chella. We know Slab is Nigeria's first female-led accelerator. And the concept behind it is that um, women around the world has received less than 2% of investment into their companies. And women are actually not having the same opportunities as men have in building companies and during entrepreneurship. And this is what Greenhouse Lab is doing to fill that gap. And because it's already proven that women like companies actually generate more revenue. And so that's what Greenhouse Lab is about. You're going to be seeing more from Greenhouse Lab. You're also going to be seeing more from Bankly, which is a company I represent. But definitely, this is just the first of many events, first of many program sites uh, built to empower women to build to empower the tech ecosystem and actually generally empower youth and uh, youth driven businesses in Nigeria. So Bankly is a cash and a voucher based payment system that allows people who have no bank account over their mobile phone just make payments instead of using their card or ATM card when they don't have it. Platform where we give access to talent to be able to showcase their talent, update uh, you know their stats, game stats, etc., so that they can be found by scouts. Basically, that's what it is. We're looking forward to funding, really, to be able to take it forward because um, the biggest thing for us going forward is making sure that technology is tight and making sure that we have the scouts out there that find those talents because a lot of them are not even connected so we're going to use our arm scouts to find them oh we're launching the app in january and um, we expect to match 100 talents in year one in 2019 wow, that's so amazing. so let's watch out at least five percent in Europe. <laughs> very interesting journey. Very intense, but very rewarding at the end. I mean, we've seen our business move from one stage to another. I mean, there's been trials and tribulations, but at the end, we're very excited about the outcome of this today. And, you know, it just tells us that a lot of people believe in our idea. And, you know, there's so much expectation, so much more to accomplish. And this motivates us, you know, keeps us going. You know, we need to power African dreams, right? And our dream is, in, you know, five years from now come 2023 we should be the number one talent opportunity platform in Africa you know it's when it comes to sports when it comes to talent discovery we should be the spot you know our dream is to protect those kids out there who are vulnerable who have no access to information who have no platforms to showcase themselves you know and we've made it our mandate to fulfill five dreams there is um, the future for what we do and I know that looking at it from every angle Everybody needs to have the one But that doesn't mean that the company that won didn't deserve it because they actually did. They worked as hard as we did. So I guess congrats to them. And we'll still continue moving forward. Yeah, it's a fair play. Yeah, I think it's a fair play. And don't talk, don't look look at that crowd that came for them. Oh, that was amazing. They had a lot of it. So I think uh, they deserve it. Academia would want to increase licenses to more TV stations. 
also want like content buyers, more content buyers. They want to do more training on animation for youth. So because we need to make this our youth, like I don't want there's there no need, there's no space for youth to stay and like okay, I don't have anything I'm doing. So we need to empower them to be able to create quality animation. But it's not just going to be Nigeria, Pan Africa, but it's going to be global. Something that international clients will have to come down to Nigeria and say, I want these people to do animation for me. Like, because uh, uh, they, they, um, Disney and other companies, they outsource to Korea, China, India. So what's wrong? Why can't they come down to Nigeria to do that? And I'm, we're all like a family now. So the three of us, uh, the five of us have been here see, for three months now. We've helped each other, we've gone through each other's problems and solutions. We've done everything. So once one of us wins, all of us wins. That's no problem. We're going to uh, solidify our legs in the Nigerian market. And after we're done doing that, we're going to take over Africa. Even though we didn't win, it's just for the Mochella itself. It doesn't mean uh, we're not raising checks. A lot of people don't invest in women, but Greenhouse Lab invests mostly in women, making sure that everything is fine, making sure that women are taken up to the top also, like the male counterparts. We give people a chance to show what they are capable of. We give people a chance to share their vision. We give them a voice. We give them a space where they can be themselves. And they can really bring and create something beautiful for the world. So thank you so much for coming to celebrate this journey. Thank you so much for buying into our vision and coming here to be with these women today. And thank you so, so much again for attending the show. Thanks.